Hey gang, have you ever found yourself rumbling through your closet and just asking yourself, where the heck did all of this stuff come from? And then have you started checking the tags and then asking yourself questions about the country and where it came from and the people uh, that created your clothing? No, just me, just me. Okay, well, today we're going to do just that. Uh, today we're going to dive into the world of globalization, which is uh, a society in which people and money and info and goods and just stuff uh, in which it flows freely around the world. And really what we're going to do is we're going to take a closer look at where our stuff is made. Uh, can't quite check that there. Um, and then we're going to ask ourselves uh, some questions about why it's been made there and why that's important. So your first task is all you need to do is just take a look at this map in front of you. And there's a larger version here if you need it. Uh, go ahead and click that. But all I want you to do uh, is which region out of the regions listed above, uh, do you think most of your clothing was produced in? Which region do you think, uh, you know, if you were to check the tags, uh, is where most of it was produced in or where it was made? And then why do you think it was made there? Be thoughtful, um, give a sentence or two, but you know, if you think most of your clothing was made in North America, why? If you think most of your clothing was made in Europe, why? Tell us why you think that. Then the fun begins. You're going to get offline. You're going to close down your screen and you're going to start raiding your closet. You're going to start checking your tags like Macklemore. Uh, and you are going to just basically write down the country of origin. So just describe the clothing. Is it a hoodie? Is it a t-shirt? You know, what type of clothing is it? Uh, what country was it made in? If you can't find it, the country, check the tag. If you can't find it, check a different item and then um, which region so you might again need to use the map here so for example in our example our hoodie was made in Vietnam now if you don't know that Vietnam is in Southeast Asia you might need to check that larger version um, to see where it is uh, and then you just put that um, all of that info right here we're looking for 10 items of clothing if you can only find seven or eight that's fine but you know try and find up to 10 if you can if you can't um, get as many as you can and then after you've got your chart completed, um, now which region uh, was most of your clothing produced in. So you're going to go ahead and just basically do a quick little tally. Maybe you've got a tie. Maybe it's, you know, North America and South and Central America. That's fine. Um, but, you know, and maybe uh, it's not even a simple majority. Maybe, you know, the most of your clothing is actually like four out of your 10 items. Like that region is... Um, the most represented. And then um, very similar to our preview question, but why do you think most of your clothing was produced there? And then just a quick, as you look at the items that were produced, what do you notice? What do you wonder? Then what you're going to do, you're going to, um, whoa, easy on the scroll in there, Canton. You're going to follow this link out to a Padlet. I'm not going to open that up now, but when you follow that link out to the Padlet, there'll be other directions there. But basically, you're going to plop a place marker down roughly in the region where you think most of your clothing is coming from. Again, regions all based on this regional map that we have here. Um, and then you're going to copy and paste your Y um, into your region place marker. Uh, you're just going to plop it on the map. We're using that for tomorrow. And then finally, um, you're going to click here on this little video thumbnail. Um, you're going to click the open preview button. And then when you do, it will open the video for you down there in the lower right hand corner. Uh, and then as you watch, you're just going to type you know, whatever it is that you notice and wonder um, from the video about globalization. And then that's all we got uh, for day one of the geography of my clothing activity. We hope you're doing well and uh, we look forward to talking to you later. See ya.